What is going on everybody? Today we're going to be basically talking about one of the best things that you can do to stick to a diet, especially whenever you're kind of getting a little bit farther into the diet, a couple weeks in, three, four weeks in, how you feel and you're starting to kind of feel like you want to go back to eating like dog shit or something like that. You know, what's the best ways that you can stick through it and kind of get past those moments? Because that's kind of where the point I am in my diet. I'm about eight weeks in now. I had like a diet break because I was on vacation, but I'm back on my cutting diet so i'm gonna be talking about stuff that i'm doing to kind of keep me motivated keep me staying into a diet and making sure that i stick with it all the way through but right now i'm about to eat my breakfast basically just having me some egg white breakfast tacos so we're gonna be getting into that and i'll also show you guys my new kitten that i just got she is fucking adorable but uh she's a little bit of a menace sometimes so i'll show you guys her later and then I'll show you guys just the rest of what I eat. And then also we'll go through a full body workout that I'm doing. So I will see you guys here in a minute. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and jump straight into my lunch that I had today. So I kind of skipped my breakfast or I skipped showing my breakfast because I've made it like a bazillion times in a row on the channel. And if you guys want to see it, I'll post it up in one of the uh, links down below. But... Today we're gonna to be making, right now it's really one of my favorite recipes because it's so customizable. It's also pretty filling. You get a really big volume, at least it feels that way. And it just tastes absolutely fucking amazing. So we're gonna be making some like popcorn chicken and I use like a garlic Szechuan chili glaze that I put over them at the end. And oh my God, these were so good. Highly, highly would recommend these. I'll put all the weights and measurements, all that kind of stuff up here. And so, like I showed you guys last week, very important to keep one hand dry, one hand for the wet whenever you're doing this. This is basically just a really standard penne station is what it's called. I use panko breadcrumbs, just one serving, and they turn out absolutely amazing. But you're gonna bread these, put these in the air fryer at 450, give them a little spray with oil, and yeah, they're gonna turn out absolutely amazing. Also, when it comes to the egg whites, you really don't need that much. As you can see, I just kind of put a splash in there. Basically, all you need to do is get the chicken like a little bit wet, get it a little moist, and then just so that all of that coating sticks to it. You can add whatever spices you want to. I just did garlic powder, MSG, and some pepper, and I fucking spilled it like an absolute genius. But yeah, so something that kind of ties along with all this that I want to do, get across in this video, is very much one of the biggest diet hacks that I think you guys will come to appreciate if you do it whenever especially when it comes to when you're kind of like farther down in the diet like i am i've been dieting i had a little bit of a diet break as you guys know when i was on vacation but besides that one week i've basically been on a diet for like a solid like eight nine ten weeks now so we're, we're going pretty strong and the only hard thing that i know a lot of people struggle with and i do sometimes also is being consistent with it, right? Like once you get to this point, it's like, fuck, I just wanna stop. But you really don't wanna A, fall off the deep end and then rebound. But if you wanna keep going and keeping the weight loss, like for me, I really wanna get shredded because I've never been shredded before. You know, I lost about 130 pounds so far and I still have, to me, a lot of weight that I need to lose. But one thing that really helps with these late stages of the diets is fucking change up your food. I, I'm pretty sure I've said this in a few other videos, but I promise you guys, try new stuff, whether it's my recipes, other people's recipes, try new stuff that sounds delicious, but make sure it's easy and it's something that you can consistently do. And I think it is a game changer when it comes to doing a diet because you don't just want to eat the same fucking chicken, broccoli, and rice every single time. You can have that sometimes because it's easy and you know it's going to be good. But doing recipes like this, changing up the marinades, spices, all that kind of shit, very much helps. But as you can see, this is one serving. And I also had this with some potato that I didn't show. But, I mean, this is a big fucking portion of chicken. So... Moving on, about to go to the gym, take my pre-workout, just two scoops of Rise Godzilla, some creatine, and then I also use glycerol because I love the fucking juicy pumps. Some people don't like the texture, it's like drinking sand, but you know, it is what it is. So, I'll see you guys after I show you my cat here in a momento. Alrighty, y'all, this is my kitten. I'm about to get ready to go to the gym, but I did promise y'all last week that I would show y'all my new kitten. So this is Mika, she's a little bangle fucking cute as can be absolutely tiny so far she'll end up getting big but i don't know if she'll be as big as big chonky like miss fucking uh mr zodi over here it's big motherfucker how you doing buddy but yeah i'm about to head to the gym so i'll catch you whenever i 
get to the gym here in a little bit. Alrighty, y'all made it to the gym. Today we've got full body, mostly gonna be focusing on heavy deadlifts. So I'm back on a strength phase, which I'm really excited for because I fucking love lifting heavy. So basically gonna be doing heavy full body day, but mostly gonna be starting with deadlifts and then kind of go from there. But I will see you guys whenever we get in there. Alrighty, so today it's gonna be a little bit different than my past couple of videos. I'm gonna be doing a voiceover over my workout. So today we're starting with deadlifts. I was so happy today with my deadlifts because I hit 515 for two and I did five sets of it, which was fucking great for me. I haven't hit this heavy in a long, long, long time. So it felt absolutely great to do, but I just basically did five sets of two, like I said, on heavy, heavy deadlifts, a couple warm up sets, move into the heavier sets, don't fuck your shit up. After that, we moved into overhead press. As you guys can kind of tell with this workout, it's really focused on the compound movements and really focusing on strength so for this one same thing five sets of two five sets of three kind of however many i can get my shoulder press still feels weak as fuck i'm only doing like 185 right now i think if i can do math but it just i don't know it feels like i should be stronger but you know it is what it is keep working at it after this i did add in some lateral raises because i like doing lateral raises because i unfortunately was not genetically bored with the fucking small waist I have a thick boy waist, which is unfortunate. So I'm trying to work on my shoulder kind of like width ratio compared to my hips kind of make me have a little bit more of like a V shape, which I'm kind of aiming towards. After this, just some rear delt flies, same thing. We're doing these ones a little bit less. We're doing sets of eight. So I did four sets of eight for both lateral raises and rear delt raises. After that, doing hammer curls to work on that brachialis, try to push my biceps up a little bit because I think my peak is pretty dog shit. Um, I think size wise is not terrible, but I think my peak just isn't very good. So I really like doing hammer curls for that specific reason. Same thing. We do four sets of six to eight, trying to push the weight a little bit heavier on these again, very much going back to focusing on strength. And then these just the fucking classics doing the tricep overhead presses and i think these are really good i've done these for a long time again i think my arms and journal my biggest weakness so trying to work on arms and shoulders trying to work on basically just building those up trying to push the intensity on those a little bit harder than i used to then after that you can't forget calves you can't see my calves because i wear fucking pants all the time but i think my cats have actually made tremendous strides after actually doing calves every single workout because there's a long time where it's kind of like it's like how i am with core now or it's i used to be how i am with core now where you know core is technically on my workout plan i never fucking do that shit i i always tell myself i'm going to but it never fucking happens so maybe i'll try and work on it but you know this was basically it and then we'll go ahead and see you guys in a minute all right i'll just finished my workout went fucking great was actually felt so fucking good on deadlifts i haven't done that much on deadlifts in fucking a long ass time so i'm kind of like working back to my peak of course my peak strength wise was like whenever i was like 100 pounds heavier than i am right now so kind of like you know it's like a whole different thing where it's like you know building back to just where i was is uh it's a little weird feeling wise because it's like i want to get super excited which i still do i get hyped as fuck whenever i do heavy weight since i've been that weight but it's like when it comes to reaching the high high points of strength wise it's kind of uh, a little fucked mentally because you know, part of me really wants to get lean and then also I really love fucking being strong. So it's kind of like going back and forth, but you know. Anyways, glad I'm fucking getting there. And another thing that's weird is like this is my first week to switching to my like strength phase, which coming from my last phase, I did the last phase of this one uh, workout plan where it was like a lot of super sets, super high reps, and I was fucking, every workout I felt like I was about to pass out, I was fucking dying. And then when you go to like sets of like one to two, it's like damn. It was like I can just keep going. Of course, like you run out of strength eventually just because your muscles do get a little bit worn out. But going from like 12 reps superset it with two different things with the same body part to like, you know, two reps of deadlifts with like a two minute rest in between. It's, uh, it's a little fucking weird. I like it because it's like I'm not literally dying after the workout. But, you know, about to head back to house, cook. And yeah, so peace. Alrighty, so for my last meal of the day, all I'm eating is some chicken spaghetti pasta. It's absolutely just, just regular ass spaghetti 
with some regular sauce. I mean, I used a little bit of a low calorie sauce that I made myself, but just that and then top that shit with some Italian seasoned chicken. I use like eight ounces of chicken, so it's kind of a lot of chicken to go on top. You could have some of it on the side too, but you know, if it's in the background and it tastes absolutely amazing, again, comes back to the same thing that I said earlier, fucking try new shit. Try stuff that tastes really good. And so this is another one of my favorite things that I make. I've made it a few times on the channel already, but I'll show it again. This is basically just kind of like a high protein, quote unquote, cookie dough. Sort of tastes like it, more like peanut butter-ish. But it tastes freaking amazing. And highly recommend anybody who hasn't tried this, give it a shot. I mean, it's like three ingredients. I mean, you can always add extra toppings, whatever you want to, as long as it fits into your macros. But I mean, it's absolutely fucking delicious. All you do is take basically peanut butter powder with some protein powder preferably a whey casein blend. I use, um, I'll post the one that I use in the description, but, and then just add some milk or water. You can use either one. And then putting it in the fridge makes it even better, but mix it up and then just add it with some chocolate chips on top. And then I also put some caramel on there. Absolutely fucking delicious. It's a new kind that I'm trying this enlightened kind. It's not too bad. I mean, it's a little weird, but overall matches it okay for me. All right, yo, just got back from my cardio. Gonna go ahead and clock out for the night. Hope you guys had, hope you guys liked the video. And then for all my fellow students out there, hopefully y'all are having a good first start of the semester. So far for me, it's been pretty good. I've liked actually all my classes. It's pretty nice getting into your actual major specific classes. Sorry if y'all hear some uh, crazy shit happening in the background. That is my kitten just playing with the Christmas ornament back and forth. Uh, but anyways, I will talk to you guys in the next one. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. So, see you guys later. Peace.